Hey y'all, this is Porty1119 with Headframe Hunters. We've returned to the Shamrock Shaft with Southern New Mexico Explorer. Uh, we have now descended on rope, see our climbing rope right there, to the 300 level. So, looking that way is the 300 East, uh, near where that 200, uh, 200 East shrink, or long hole open slusher stope thing will drop into. And we have the level station. So it says 300 level and a uh, escape way, which goes to that uh, little escape rays slash vent rays that's off to the the west of us. Uh, mine phone, looks like a valve of some sort, a little bacon strip. And then we've got a, a grizzly see down there into the ore pocket yeah, about 15 feet down so this is uh, where the 200 would have loaded out if you remember there was no uh, no ore pocket on the 200 level so this is uh, the main disconnect it says four yard pump but then that was crossed out and it says feeder. And you see, hand off auto and a start button. So what this likely was, there was probably a, a vibratory feeder down there to uh, control the amount of ore fed into the skip. And the auto would be driven by a, a level sensor somewhere. I don't know exactly how automated this was or wasn't. And uh, we coming over to the 300 West. Final box says danger, blasting caps. Just to assuage your curiosity, I've already looked in here. It's uh, just rock and paper. It looks like they did remove the caps. We've got a, a slusher block, a uh, opened and discarded. W65 self rescuer. Um, hopefully, it was not actually needed to be used. Those are uh, used to, they're an escape respirator. They convert carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide. So, in a mine fire, they'll save you from dying of carbon monoxide poisoning for an hour. They only last an hour. A little bit of, looks like shock tube, uh, pick head, saw blade, and there's a uh, rope and equipment bags. What that little forked thing is. And coming into here, we've got a storage wall. That actually looks like it might have been a, a draw point at one point. Some Victolic couplings, light guards, uh, sh lifting shackles, vent, steel, hose, etc. And this uh, small little drift, I already checked it for uh, surprises. It does have quite a bit of safety fuse on the floor. Uh, this continues to a uh, small raise. Why did I know it was a raise? sure if I can get it in camera safely. There's a piece of drill steel sticking out of the back down there. So this is actually a stope. You can see the the uh, foot wall right there. And it goes about 20 more feet and faces out. Continuing on the 200 West, I think those are boosters. Got uh, some kind of hatch. 
what that was. And, uh, or shoot. The shoot looks like it blew out. It's probably a old shrinkage stoke from the 60s or from when Veta Mines worked during the 30s. You know, that could, that could go either way. There's a manway, so we'll have to investigate that. It could be educational. Now we've got a two-way intersection up here. This drift's about six feet wide. It's not, not huge, not tiny. Let's keep on going. And we're looking up that raise. Uh, Justin made a very good point. This probably hooks up to that uh, ventilation raise on the 200 that has uh, an electric slusher on it. Because uh, this is a, an ore pass right here, or ore chute. And uh, there might be a stope up there between them. But, you know, they slush from that 200 west into uh, that grizzly and it drop down and then get slushed down from the, the 300 west out to... Uh, out to the shaft station. So that was how they all that all that all that muck to us. Now we've come up to that uh two way intersection. That's a stope. You, you can light up here? Yeah, go ahead and give me some illumination. You can yeah, see uh it, it, it's it's big and it's sketchy too because it looks like it goes down to four hundred. That sounds exciting. I'll be up there in a minute. Yeah you yeah. can hear uh I'll, I'll wait for you up here. Copy that. You can hear Southern New Mexico Explorer up there talking about the stope and this is definitely on vein. That stuff looks like there were some pretty serious bugs in there, and that's what caused that, that uh, rib to blow out. I don't know what that was. I mean, they put in split sets there. You know, it could have been uh, hillbilly engineered slusher blocks. Is this, uh, this was a slusher drift. You can see uh, a lot of the characteristic markings in the floor. Looks like, yeah, it looks like explosives. Another day box there. I'm not curious enough to open that. Another shoot. Sketchy old ladder. That's got to go up into that that stope. So we'll meet uh, we'll meet Justin up there in a minute. And what do we have here? What 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 do we have here? Well, we got a uh, split sets. Another one of those eye bolt things. Survey mark. This is a. 314. That faces out. So I'm looking uh, out into this 200 or 300 west stope. So I'm sitting right down here. There's my knee. And it just opens up. Just a uh, Tremendous long hole stope. This has to go down to the 400. You can see uh, a little bit of a, a drop off there. It might well be a, an ore pass on the, the 400 or the 350. Boulder the size of a of a three yard LHD right there. So we came up through an old access drift to this. There's uh, even a little bit of rail down there from it. So they just blast through that old drift. I don't know if uh, they used it as an access at one point, but this is this is a, uh, probably in the top three biggest stopes I've ever been in. It's pretty impressive.
We're looking back at the shaft station from the 300 East. Yeah, that looks like that looks like Anfo Prill right there. Coke can. Or, uh, more fallen material, probably off of a uh, out of a stoke. Oh, look at that. Got some eye shine up there from a miner's cat. I don't want to get too close and annoy the little guy. Yeah. Let's not stand under here too long. We gotta be under that, that 200 stope. Stope up there. Okay, I better back in here. There you go. See his little bushy striped tail. That looks like it faces out down there. I'm gonna leave him be. There's a friend. Okay, we're looking down a uh, shaft from the. 300 level station. Let's see, uh, there's a platform there, and off to the side is the hydraulic ram gate for the, the 300 level loading pocket. Justin is down there, and he assures me that there's uh, all there is is a grizzly and a collapsed stope on the 350 level, and then the manway switches over uh, from the west side of the shaft to the east side. So we would need to uh, re-rig. We don't have enough lengths of rope to do that. So that's uh, unfortunately all we're going to be able to get to for today is the 300 and the 350. But it's still uh, it's still progress. So hope you all enjoyed watching uh, the 300 and a little snippet of the 350 of the Shamrock Shaft. This has been 411.19 with Head Frame Hunters, y'all. Thank you very much for watching.